I think that Darndale is a huge untapped resource of talent, of art, of creativity. I've stopped thinking about communities as being disadvantaged and think of them more as being underestimated. Creative Places Darndale is a three-year Arts Council funded project and basically the purpose of it here is to weave a culture of the arts into everyday life in Darndale. So the project seeks to support arts practice that is in the area and to involve all the community in arts practice. So we're doing lots of workshops, we're doing performances and as part of the community engagement and we really talk to people about what kind of arts they're interested in, what kind of art forms, what they enjoy doing, what's important to them, and you know about their everyday life and things like that. And from that, um, I made a sort of arts plan. In order to develop a legacy, you're going to have to you know team up with, and be in partnership with the people who live here, and to be very aware of you know what what interests them like what they want. So obviously one of the great ways in to any community is to pay attention to the children in the community. And that's been a very big part of the programme. At the beginning we sort of did our research. We did lots of pop-up performances and workshops, literally sort of last minute, on the streets, in the squares, at people's doorsteps. And there was great response to that. And then we started building workshops that were sort of set. And so we we're with Sphere 17, who are one of our main stakeholders, you could say. And with the schools. A lot of rolling projects where young people of all ages are either building upon or gaining new skills in the areas of circus, music, songwriting, video making. We had the children record a song that they've come up with about Darndale and about the area and about living here, the, the good points and the bad points, and their hopes for their future. So like I suppose the song is about like kind of pride of place I guess so it's great seeing all the kids in their area doing their thing in their own you know school and community centres and stuff like that and just enjoying being where they're from. So this song I think is I suppose an expression of what it feels like to be and live in Darndale and what it's like to be just a kid. Making these kids aware of this option that there's something else because when you discover creativity it's like a different world, it's like a portal. I think people are forced to leave where they live to go and pursue their, their art because you might not think that there's people in the area who are interested in art and who are interested in acting whatever it is that you're interested in but they, they are out there. Seeing people directing a music video or producing a song or writing a song or, or whatever it is and going oh that can be my job someday. I think it just opens up creativity and then it opens up what the world is for you. And we've had lots of contact with all, lots of other service users and providers. And I mean, all of that goes towards kind of the content for the festival. Um, we hooked up with Chrissy Ward, who's a local traveller woman, and she writes mystical poetry and children's stories. And we're in the process of applying for a grant to develop her stories and perhaps into an audio book or printed material. And we have her at our storytelling events we're working with John Connors, he's the ringmaster of the Dare to be Darndale Carnival Cabaret. We're doing history walkabout and history and storytelling events. And we have the voice of Darndale Choir and we're in collaboration with the Queen Spare Festival, which is happening in our town. Really lots of things to include people young and old. And then I suppose our flagship piece of programming for year one, which really is a culmination of the last six months work, um, with all of those various pieces is coming together in this four-day festival, the Maiden Darndale Festival, which is really a celebration of place and the community here. It's about looking at your community anew and showing it to other people. It's a sense of showing it off. Look, this is a great place. I want you to see it at its best and I want you to know about the community and it's about just having people being near each other, feeling connected and feeling proud about your place and what it can do. I, I, I think it'll bring um, a smile on everyone's face. I think everybody needs a, a bit of happiness, a smile, and something, something you know, to be joyful for, to be ashamed of. I live here, I live in Darndale, and not to be ashamed of mm -hmm. You could learn a lot from the people in Darndale because once you're known there, you're part of the community. And if every community took on the same mentality as, as seeing a person for a person, they would be well, doing well. We're really enjoying it at the moment, it's great fun. 
even though I can't sing. But it's fun and it brings people together. Yeah, I think it's real therapeutic. I think it's like relaxing in a sort of way. I don't know how else to like explain it, but it was fun because I had all my friends there. You know, the hospitality that's been shown to us, the welcome, the everything, the enthusiasm, the energy for this kind of project has been like, you know, mind boggling. <laughs> it's brilliant. So it's, um, yeah, great to be a part of it. The attendance, the feedback, it's all been amazing. And there's so much stuff for, for the kids to do and they're all getting stuck in. And it's a beautiful thing that's happening here. Uh, I genuinely believe that it could cause a ripple effect uh, throughout the community. I think, uh, I think it's gonna make some waves. I'm very ambitious that this will grow and grow and grow and that we'll make something really special.